The MAMP software bundle represents one of the easiest ways to get started with Apache, MySQL, and PHP on a Mac OS X. You can download the MAMP software from this website at www.mamp.info. Make sure you're looking at the English version of the page. You see, there are two versions of MAMP, one simply called MAMP and the other called MAMP Pro. When you download the software, you'll actually be downloading both at the same time. Go to the Downloads link, then click on the Download link here, and follow the rest of the prompts to download the software to your hard disk. You'll see that the software is downloaded to a zip archive file. When you extract the archive file, you end up with this installer package, MAMP.PKG. To run the installer, double-click, follow through the prompts, including reading and agreeing to the license agreement, finally click Install. There are no other options for the MAMP installation. However, you will be prompted to type your administrative password. Installation should take just a few minutes, as the files are written to your hard drive and placed in your Applications folder. Once the installation is complete, click Close. Then, in Finder, go to your Applications folder. You'll see in your Applications folder that there are two folders named MAMP and MAMP Pro. We'll be using the free edition of MAMP, and we won't need MAMP Pro. You can choose to keep the folder if you want, or if you prefer, you can move it to the trash. It's up to you. Before starting, we need to make sure that any copies of Apache or MySQL that are already on my Mac are turned off. Go to the System Preferences. From there, go to Sharing. Make sure that Web Sharing is unchecked. That will make sure that the version of Apache that's included with the Mac OS X is off and won't conflict with the version that's included with MAMP. If you installed a native version of MySQL, check that as well and make sure that it is stopped. I currently do not have it installed on this machine. However, if it was, it would be located down in the bottom of the System Preferences. Now we're ready to fire up MAMP. In the MAMP folder, there's a MAMP application and a critical folder named htdocs. The MAMP htdocs folder is in your web document root where you place your HTML graphics, PHP, and other files that you want to call from the web browser. Let's go back to the MAMP folder and double-click MAMP to start it up. When you first start up MAMP, the server should fire up automatically, and once they start, this home page should appear. Notice that this home screen, it tells you that you're running MySQL on port 8889. That's a non-standard port. We'll change that in the next lesson. In addition, you see up here in the URL bar that you are running Apache on port 8888, again, a non-standard port. MAMP comes out of the box this way to allow you to run these copies of Apache and MySQL at the same time as the version that are included with a Mac OS X. However, if you prefer, you can use the standard settings as well. Let's verify that our database is working. This is the fun part. Click up here on PHP MyAdmin, and you should see this listing showing you that PHP MyAdmin is working and connecting to your MySQL database. So that's all there is to it. MAP is incredibly simple to install. There are other options that you can use, and we'll look at those options in other videos.